Hi, but today I'm combining what will probably be our last ever field of horse seed rape. So here it is, and it's really poor. A lot of weeds, not many seeds. So basically, this has been nailed by the flea beetle. So we haven't been able to grow a good crop of horse seed rape since the neonicotinoids were banned. Um, we've tried numerous things, we've not given up on it. We've tried creating a really good seed bed to get the seeds going, that didn't work. We tried direct drilling, that didn't work. We tried companion cropping, growing other crops with it to try and um, get the flea beetle away from the crop, that didn't work. Um, and this crop here, we tried sprinkling the seed into the previous crop. So we blew this horsey rape into a standing crop of wheat last summer. And then when we combined the wheat, the rape was already growing, so we've got a head start. Um, it looked really good, it looked like a really strong crop all through the winter. Um, it didn't have much nibbling from the flea beetle on the leaves, but come the spring I had so many um, larvae, maggots from the flea beetle in the stems, it just rotted out and they just haven't produced much all uh, straight at all. So this is pretty much the same case all over the country. A lot of people giving up all straight because it's no longer viable for their businesses. Um, so a lot of the Aussie rape that's come into the country, the rapeseed oil, the vegetable oil, that is all imported and that has all been grown using neonicotinoids. So the world is no better off really, the bees in general aren't any better off, even though know, they might be better off in the UK. The other worrying thing is that the use of palm oil has probably increased and we all know how good that is from a sustainability point of view. But yeah, sad to see it go.